I'm Salma Mayer and I'm 17 years old. I'm Summer and I'm 14 years old. What are some of your hobbies slash interests? I love to do makeup. I'm like makeup obsessed. It's fun, it's therapeutic. I'm kind of a hippie. I write poetry. I just love writing in general. Um, I crochet, uh, paint. I love hanging out with my three sisters. Who are some people you look up to? Um, well, my parents are definitely my top role models. My sister is one of my huge role models. She's younger than me, but she is one of my role models. I look up to a lot of people on the internet, like YouTubers. They always receive like a ton of hate, but they have the courage to go out and say what they believe in. Definitely my parents. They came from Egypt and they've just given up so much for my sisters and I, so I definitely look up to them. Growing up as a Muslim girl, how has your religion played a part of your identity? Um, it's always been a part of my identity, even when I didn't wear the hijab and people didn't know. And I put the hijab on when I was in seventh grade. It didn't change anything about my personality. If anything, it made me a lot more outspoken. I'm a lot more confident with it on than before. I think what people see the most when they look at me is the fact that I'm Muslim. They the, Immediately their eyes will go to my scarf and um, sometimes they'll make assumptions based on that. My heritage was something I was like insecure about but I think that my religion made me so much stronger and made me like understand that if you have faith you'll just get through whatever. Do you ever deal with microaggressions and then where do you experience them most and how do you deal with them? Um, microaggressions are everywhere. Especially in school and on the internet and on the internet I think is a lot more aggressive. I don't know these people, they're complete strangers but still they're telling 11 and 12 year old me that I don't have a right to be in the country and that my entire family is are terrorists like we're all terrorists there was one kid who without fail every day asked me where the bomb in my scarf was eventually I told him off and he apologized you need to speak up once it happens it's the tiny things that people don't realize that really leave an imprint on a person's life what is your favorite part about being like a teenager or being a young person um, favorite part about being a teenager is that in this day and age, teenagers are a lot more outspoken. We're, as a whole, a lot more liberal with our ideas and, you know, what we think. We take the time to listen to other people's opinions, but we also take the time to, you know, say what we believe in. What are you most excited for in the future with, like, your generation or with you personally? Anything you're excited for? Um, with me personally, I'm super excited to continue on like this path that I've been going down with like working with a lot of activist groups. I'm excited to see like how much further like my uh, generation, my friends and I can go and how many more changes we can make in the world around us. I feel like the country as a whole is moving towards a more, you know, comprehensive view of Muslims and I feel like that's really awesome. We've progressed so far that if I wanted to be like a doctor, I could be a doctor. If I want to be a writer, I can be a writer. And if I want to be a teacher, I can do that too. So I think that would be my favorite thing is that I just have so many opportunities and so many resources to get me there. Um, is there anything else you want the people watching to know about you, about your religion, about anything? About Muslim people. We're not terrorists. We don't want to hurt you. Um, we're Americans just as much as you are. So. It hurts me when people say that Muslims aren't American enough and that they should be more American. I was born here. I mean, I don't know like how, how much more American I'm supposed to get. I have freedom of religion. I can do whatever I want. So I don't understand why people are using the presidency as an excuse to say, you don't belong here because I think I belong here just as much as the next person, but I mean, I'm told that I, I'm not allowed, like I shouldn't be allowed here. My biggest piece of advice is to get involved in any organization with the cause that you believe in. There's so many groups that you can join. There's so many things that you can do that will make a change and that will do something for you and for people around you. Speak out against things that you see. People don't always know that the things they're saying are offensive. So, you know, telling them 
informing them. Most of the time they'll apologize if they really did say something that hurt you or hurt someone you know. It helps to know that there are people around you that are supporting you and that care about you and that love you all the time, um, no matter what the president is saying.